Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to significantly speed up your iTunes backup for your iPhone. Um, there's been a lot of complaints about people who have had 6 hour syncs, 8 hour syncs, 12 hour syncs. Um, I myself have experienced those um, all the time. In fact, I just completed a 6 hour sync backup of my iTunes. Um, before I th did this video, I searched on YouTube. I couldn't find anything that addressed this specific issue. I don't like to do uh, Me Too videos, uh, but since uh, I've been helped out significantly by a lot of people on YouTube, um, I, I like to give back myself. So if you guys are experiencing six hour, eight hour, even, even, even 30 minute sinks, this video is for you. I'm about to hook you guys up. Okay. First thing you want to do is you want to go to edit preferences. Go to Devices and make sure that this is checked. Prevent iPods, iPhones, iPads from syncing automatically. Check that. Mine's already checked. And click OK. Now, if you plug in your device and it's automatically set to do that, well, what, what you do is you load up iTunes first before you plug in your iPhone. Check that and then plug in your plug in your iPhone so as you can see here my iPhone is not connected yet I'm about to connect my iPhone right now and in just a minute you should see the iTunes or the iPhone show up okay there it is now here's the meat of it what you're going to do is you are going to click on here and then you are going to right click and okay now what you're gonna do here is you're going to click reset warnings what happened initially is that because um, because the reason why you're experiencing these long delays is that at some point you gave Apple permission to submit crash reports and statistics to them. What happens is their servers are always slow or down, so the bulk of the syncing is being taken taken up by sending uh, Apple these reports so when you click on reset warnings it's going to ask you the next time if you want to submit these reports so what I'm gonna do is since I've already done that I'm just going to click on sync now what you want to do after you after you click on the reset warnings it's going to bring up this screen Un make sure that do not ask me again is unchecked because you want them to ask you each and every time uncheck that and then click don't send now what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna take you through the whole pro the whole syncing which is now going to take probably about five to six minutes but I want you to note the time here 1202 and I'm going to pause this for a second and then I'm going to and then I'm going to come back okay we started at 1202 notice now that it's 1203 and look at how quickly the sync is taking place now mind you 
I just completed a six hour sink earlier today where it took me six hours to back up my items because I had I was submitting these goofy statistics to Apple and I have been doing so um, so we started at 1202 it looks like it's actually going to take two minutes so I've gone from a six hour sink to a two minute uh, so, well, it's, it's got to do some more, but it's essentially done. It's going to sync my calendar and stuff like that, which is going to take another 30 seconds, but um, very, very simple. Um, if for some reason you guys, it, if for some reason it starts to sync while you're doing this, if you plug it in, which you shouldn't, uh, simply go here and click this here to stop the backup. But wait until you see the, the this gray bar do not do it while you're looking at those um, at that candy cane kind of swiggly thing don't do it then wait until you see the bar start over here before you click on that um, that's it very simple um, I hope this guys hope this helps you out as much as it helped me out have a great day